Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, well, what is to expect of Windows 11 in 2023, as we're closing in our 2022, um, where we had uh, the first big update to Windows 11 at 22H2, and we had our first moment, as they call it, which was very uneven. It seems weird, as if some features have rolled out to some and not to everyone. It's a very bizarre way of doing it. Um, it's not like, you know, we used to be sure that these or that feature would be here or not. It's very strange. So after a year and after very slow progress in market share for Windows 11, what will 2023 bring to us? Well, we did have moment one and um, expect to have other updates throughout the year. So what happens is Microsoft has ditched the big update at the end of the year like we just had for 22H2 on Windows 11. That uh, means that now instead of having and waiting for the second half of next year to have a big update for 23H2, we're going to actually have these moments, and these are going to happen at least uh, four times next year. So they're supposed to have a moment for every three months. The first one of the year is expected actually quite early, uh, sometime in January. And then, of course, we'll run with other moments throughout the year, roughly every three months in space between each, uh, which will give us at um, some new features. So each moment we'll roll out new features, we'll change things around, uh, we'll maybe bring some of the features people request, and so on. If you're on 21H2 for Windows 11, the good news on Windows 11 is the um, end of support for each version is 24 months, which is a little better than Windows 10 at 18. So you're on 21H2, you're still on 21 on 22H2, it doesn't matter, you can still stay to 21H2 until almost the end of next year, as that's when it's going to actually uh, be the end of support, and then you'll have to move on to either 22H2 or 23H2, and I'm going to explain the 23H2 thing here. So of course we have moments, and these moments will happen. What also is going to happen is that at the end of next year, when moments, the last moment probably rolls out, it probably, and what I think, is going to bump the number or version number to 23H2. So it's not going to be a big update in one time. It's going to be several small updates, and probably the last moment will bump the number to 23H2. That also means that I expect that the media creation tool for Windows 11 and the uh, Windows image download will eventually be updated for a version 23H2. So I would guess 23H2 is still a thing. It's just that it's going to be, um, you know, a small one of those moments is going to bump up the number, but you'll have all of the features through the year. Um, instead of having a big, big update. So this is going to be kind of interesting to see how it goes, and what are the features coming. We do see a few of the features coming through uh, the different versions on the Insider Rings right now. But um, that's going to be, uh, you know, it's, it seems to me like Windows 11 progress is rather slow. Uh, we, you know, I've been expecting, and I think all of us were expecting something much bigger in terms of new features and changes when 22H2 arrived this year. And we end up a year later with not that much difference. Um, and it's kind of curious. It's as if they're not working that hard in creating new features for Windows 11. It, could it be, and we're going to talk about that in a speculation video coming up next, could it be Windows 12? That's, that's the thing here that we're kind of wondering. So expect these moments to arrive next year and end up, of course, with the last moment probably bumping the build number to 23H2, so it gives us another two years. 
So if you're on 22H2, you don't have to move on to 23H2 necessarily. Uh, well, you'll be moving on because you'll probably get the moments anyways. So you'll be kind of moving on in a way. It's not going to be, you know, you can move and, and bump uh, 22H2 with 21H2. You can still continue on 21H2. But with moments, it means you'll be getting 23H2 as bits will arrive on your 22H2 for new features. So there's no kind of moving around or waiting for another uh, 24H2, for example. Uh, this is kind of an interesting thing. Maybe it's a way for Microsoft to just make sure everybody moves on together to, you know, new versions, rather. And, and by making it a small moment update, as they call them, it's uh, not going to be as bad. Or, you know, maybe people are just going to want to move on to it. So we're going to see anyways. Uh, kind of interesting, the... Uh, what's going to happen uh, in the future. And of course, every month, Windows 11 will have its uh, security updates and its bug fixes updates as usual at the same time. So uh, looking forward to 2023. Looking also forward to another thing. Um, at the end of next year, where will the market share for Windows 11 be, actually? That's going to be an interesting number. And versus Windows 10, which will be heading closer and closer to the end. So... Uh, we're going to see. Uh, it, it's going to be an interesting year to look at, like every year. Always something interesting to look at in the Windows world. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.